a variable force defined by the function f of t is equal to 2t squared minus 4t plus 5 is applied on a block across a horizontal frictionless surface. Calculate the impulse applied to the block by this force during the first three seconds. So how can we do this? If you want to try this problem, feel free to pause the video and work on it. Now, impulse, typically represented by the symbol J, sometimes you might see I for impulse. Impulse is equal to force multiplied by time. And this is also equal to the change in momentum. But now the force that we're dealing with is not a constant force, but a variable force. So we need to use calculus in this case. The impulse is also equal to the definite integral of the force function with respect to time from A to B. So we need an interval in this problem. And we want to calculate the impulse applied to the block during the first three seconds. So that is between 0 and 3. So the impulse is going to be the integral from 0 to 3 of the force function, which is this equation right here. So it's 2t squared minus 4t plus 5. So it's going to be in the integral of that expression with respect to t. Now, just to review, if you need to take the integral of a variable raised to a constant using the power rule, so the antiderivative of x to the n is going to be x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. And of course, we need to add c, the constant of integration. So the antiderivative of t squared, that's going to be t to the third power. We're going to add 1 to 2, so that gives us 3. And then we're going to divide by that result. So we get t to the third over 3. Now, the antiderivative of t to the first power, if we add 1, is going to be t to the second power. And then we'll divide by that result. And for a constant 5, you just need to add the variable t to it. You can view it like this. Imagine if, since there's nothing there to the 5, imagine if you have a t to the 0 uh, next to it. Anything raised to the 0 power is 1. So using the power rule, it will be 5t to the 1 over 1, which is just 5t. So now we need to evaluate this from 0 to 3. But first, let's simplify the expression that we have. So this is 2 over 3, t to the third. 4 over 2 is just 2. So we have minus 2t squared and then plus 5t. So let's begin by plugging in 3 first. So it's 2 over 3 times 3 to the third power minus 2 times 3 squared plus 5 times 3. And then minus. Next, we need to plug in 0. But the beauty about 0 is if you multiply anything by 0, you're going to get 0 for the most part. Now, 3 to the third power is 27 divided by 3, which is 9 times 2. That's 18. 3 squared is 9 times 2. So we're going to get negative 18. And then 5 times 3 is 15. This is going to be 0. That is 0. And that is 0 as well. And these two numbers will cancel. So the impulse applied to the block by this variable force is going to be 15. Now, if we think about the units of impulse, the units of force is the Newton. And the unit of time, well, in this problem, is going to be seconds. So impulse is represented in newtons times seconds. So for this problem, it's 15 
newton time seconds or newton seconds now let's say if you have a graph with force on the y-axis time on the x-axis and let's say it's a variable force whenever you take the definite integral from a to b you're going to get the area under the curve so in other words you'll get the area of this region the area under the curve of a force time graph represents the impulse that the force applies to the object so make sure you understand that 